Today I thought I'd take you on a tour of my closet. So let's get started. So here's my closet. So let's go in for a closer look. So here's how I have my clothes organized. I start off with tanks or sleeveless shirts. They're all right here. And then I go into apparently my stripe section. They're all short, short sleeve shirts. And then you'll see the sleeves gradually get longer. And these are um, long sleeve shirts. Um, so that's the top rack. I'll show you the other half in a second. And then the I have one shelf in my closet. And right now it is filled with clothes that need to be put away. All right, so then underneath the pile of clothes, um, more clothes that need to be put away. Small selection of handbags. And then down below are all my shoes. Okay, now I switched over to the other side so we can see, so I can show you. Uh, here's the continuation of my shirts. You can see they get um, a little more dressy as we go down. Well, these aren't really dressy, but they're button down. So all my button downs live together. And then it goes into the heavier sweaters. And then into dresses. And it goes from, again, no sleeves, sleeveless, to long sleeves. Um, and then on the bottom, I have all of my um, jackets and some skirts. Dress your stuff. And then there's pants. Um, I do not hang up jeans. Those just get folded and tossed in a drawer, which I will show you another time. Here is the reorganized closet. And the whole process only took me about five minutes because I had a really solid foundation. I already had a system in place and all I had to do was go back and I actually just tweaked it ever so slightly. So let me show you what I did. I got one, I got rid of the extra pairs of shoes that were down there. I got rid of one pair that I hate. I don't even know why I bought them. I'm sure um, everyone's experienced that at some time. I had my flip flops live with another pair of summertime shoes. I cleaned up the purse area and then I remembered and discovered that I had um, all of this little box is shoe, shine, care, polish, etc. is in that little box. And let's see over here. I'll show you that side in a second. Up here, I moved some shirts that were on the lower level. I moved them up here because I realized that my system of organization was really reliant on something I didn't need anymore. That being, I'm not, I don't work in an office every day anymore. So I really don't need to separate out so much my fancy clothes from my everyday clothes. Okay, again, really not that much different. And here's the lower section. That does look a little different. So I lined up all my pants and I got the shirts that were in the middle of the jacket. Um, I put them up. And the other thing I wanted to show you, the other side, um, is how I cleaned up <clears throat> the shelf. Now you can see, now I can see I have three that I need to wear the next time I get cold. I need to go up and grab one that I've worn once already so that I'm not picking out another clean one out of my dresser. And then this is my stack of workout clothes that if I didn't get too, too sweaty and I can wear them again, again, um, that way it saves me a little time on laundry. So one last look on this side. 